I'm Andy Reardon. I'm a captain with the Austin Fire Department, and with me are two of the firefighters that were at the Governor's Mansion fire in 2008. Uh, Kelly Wacker Gall is one of the firefighters, and firefighter Travis Blassingame. Um, here today, just kind of looking at the mansion, uh, four years after the fire, I uh, came here with the governor. He recognized the first responders in the Historic Commission that, that helped save the mansion and rebuild the mansion. Um, we were kind of talking on the way here about what a surreal experience it is being back here, about what we did, what we remember about the fire that night. Um, I specifically remember getting the address, realizing I think that's pretty close to the governor's mansion because from what I remember, it came in as an intersection. Um, when we got here and the first in unit reported heavy fire at the front of the mansion, and I think they specifically said at the governor's mansion, uh, kind of stepped everybody's uh, awareness up a little bit. Um, we spent a lot of time, there were trenches cut in the lawn here for some type of irrigation work and construction work. Uh, I remember making sure that we didn't trip and fall on them, drop any equipment or anything like that. Um, get inside the mansion and realize that we were actually inside the mansion with fire active in the mansion. Uh, it seemed like everywhere we went, poking holes in the walls to check for hidden fire, we found hidden fire. Uh, the one thing I remember walking in the mansion just a little while ago is, is going up the staircase and remember how different it looked then and you know, actually cutting holes in the walls and things like that to try and, to, to try and put out some of the fire that was in the walls. So uh, it just looks a little bit different than it did uh, about four years ago.